It's like a cellular service. <laughs> <laughs> What's up everybody? This is Wesley. And this is Wade. And, and I'm Abby. <laughs> and we are Obscure Terrain. Obscurity Terrain. We're out here on the trail actually. We didn't have time to record it at the house so we decided we'll just record it out here. And today, or uh, this journey, adventure who's joining us is Abigail. Hi. Abigail, kill, kill. <laughs> Introduce yourself. I'm Abigail. Also part of Wabby Powered, and you can find me at Abby Kill Kill Kill. Oh. And yeah, just hanging out with these guys for the day. What, what kind of hobbies do you have, Abby? My hobbies include <laughs> uh, roller derby, DIY projects, and hanging out with my dogs and looking at hummingbirds. Yeah, a hummingbird <laughs> just flew by. It was like zoom, zoom, zoom. <laughs> so, what do you do for a living? I work in technical support. Nice. See. Normal people can come out and enjoy the wilderness. But our plan is we're gonna backpack. You can't see it, but there's some peaks behind us. Nine, nine miles that way. Yep, we're gonna backpack to the peak of the Oregon Mountains. Uh, well, how do we feel about it? I feel pretty good. I've never actually carried 45 pounds on my back for more than a couple hundred meters, though. But I can run nine miles, so let's see how it goes. I don't know if it translates. Probably not. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, our packs, I think our packs are a little too heavy, but we brought a lot of water because it's going to be hot today. Yeah. So, and yep. no clouds in sight. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel, Abby, that roller derby's prepared you for this journey? Yeah, I think my endurance is pretty up up there, so. And her legs, too. And just, I'm touching her leg. We're married, just so you know. Oh, yeah, by the way. It was not Harvey Weinstein her. <laughs> Look, a hummingbird again. <laughs> yeah, nice. they're good. Back. Supposedly, they're good luck. Because mm -hmm. they're all like, zoom, zoom, zoom. Uh -huh. So we're prepared. We may run into some storms. Uh, this evening, but hopefully not, but we are prepared. We're gonna be Sleeping in tents and we got our tarps But if it's too bad you can easily set up a hammock in a tree and tarp that so you're off the ground Yeah, uh, we're gonna have to watch for Creatures out here rattlesnake season. Yeah, yeah if you get bit by a rattlesnake, there's pretty much nothing anyone can do for you Because by the time you get down the venom will have kicked in and you'll be high as a kite. <laughs> you'll be all venomed out on rattlesnake venom going, la cucaracha, la cucaracha. <laughs> <laughs> but for temporary shelters, we, we also have that spear and some tarps. So what we could do is um, make a quick lean, just poke the spear in the ground, tie up the tarp and have a quick temporary shelter from the rain and or quick shade from the sun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the sun. Uh... Hopefully everything goes well. I'm sure it will. It's gonna be an awesome trip. I've always wanted to hike a desert mountain, especially up to a desert peak. We've been in these mountains before. We had our wedding just a little ways down at a house in these mountains, but we've never been in this one. This territory, I should say. How do you feel about it, Abby? I'm excited. Yeah? I'm not too worried about it. That's good. See, we're all chill. <laughs> we're just chill people, just doing some chill things on a chill, Monday. Monday. This tree's so cool. Is it? It looks like it has crocodile skin. Yeah, I think it's a nickname is a 
crocodile tree <laughs> Alligator tree? Crocodile tree? I don't know. It's a juniper. I can't remember the nickname. Help us out. Remember the nickname. Put in the comments. Winner gets a prize. And we don't know what it is. We'll, we'll bring back a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Figure out the prize when you guess the right tree. Uh-huh. Give us nickname. a thumbs up and subscribe. And we will see you at the peak. This is the Narrows. Bye. Catch y'all later. later. is to reach the Oregon Peak by early afternoon on the second day. We will be dropped off at the head of Fillmore Canyon Trail and travel up the canyon past the Narrows to the base of the peak where we will set up camp. From there we plan to hike straight up the mountain following the ridge with lighter packs. There is possibilities of no water up there and the temperature is supposed to be anywhere from 90 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. This means most of our weight will be in water. Oh. And one more thing, the trail supposedly has been overgrown with thick brush. This is Obscure Terrain. Water. One of nature's most precious resources. And we ran out of it again. It was pretty rough this time, no joke. She's got cheese. Ooh. Say cheese. No. Cheese. What do we got here? I've got a nice <laughs> everywhere but this bag, bro. Be careful. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So we are currently in the truck munching on burritos. 
<laughs> That's our destination up there, the Oregon Peak. Wait, which spike is it? That's the big spike. The tallest spike? The littlest spike. The smallest spike? <laughs> the spike that could. I think I spike, I think I spike. Here, record Wesley's spiked face. I think I spike, I think I spike. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? That's the valley we're taking. Once we got there, it was it was nice. Like it was still morning time. The, it was fresh, and uh, it we, didn't make climbing uphill so rough. No, not at all. Mad, not but at going all. uphill with the packs full was kind of a hard part because we climbed over a thousand feet in elevation. The yeah, first we were day. taking breaks every like 20 to 25 minutes to be honest, because it was pretty heavy. Yeah. like the vegetation and the trees and everything up in the canyon started changing. Yeah, I went from desert to pine tree type, Lincoln Forest type yeah. stuff. Yeah, it was super cool. We, we decided to take a break on that big flat rock. Yeah. And uh, there's some pictures of us on our Instagram. Mm -hmm. So you can see such the, the legendary big flat rock. <laughs> no. Sucks already. <laughs> you can't make jokes or else I can't keep the old man face. You gotta keep the old man face. It's hot. Sounds like you got Botox, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and then we ended up reaching a bunch of thick brush. So we had to machete our way through it. It's pretty rough. The, the machete pretty much went dull pretty quick and uh, it was just so much work trying to cut through the brush that and you needed a big swing on the machete which we didn't have in such a narrow trail it was like brushy to the point that you're like just surrounded in thorns like that one part in the Lion King when Simba's running from <laughs> the hyenas like, running from the hyenas man that's that's how thorny you got in some spots no joke yeah the mesquite bushes and trees were rough because they would just be hidden in the bush and next thing you know you just get stabbed by it yeah but I mean we just quit cutting through it we just basically put our heads down and barreled through it yep I'd use my hat to cover my face and I'll just I, I wasn't even looking where I was stepping I was just following the trail one foot in front of the other yep so there was a point where the brush like let up we were able to get through it and it opened up and we were so relieved and we noticed there was no carns yeah, and what carns are basically are to signify that you're on the path or on a trail. It's basically rocks that are stacked up. And uh, it doesn't matter which way you stack them up as long as you see rocks that are abnormally stacked up. Not by nature, but by a person. 
Yeah. So, so this guy. We saw a pile of rocks, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to build a corn. So then I started digging through the pile of rocks, and guess, Lord behold, a rattlesnake started rattling at me. <laughs> this guy finds rattlesnakes every time. Yep. So I decided that um, I'd make a corn in a different place. Luckily, we were actually really close to the Narrows at that point. We were yep. within half a mile. And it got a little little thick, and uh, we were it, like the vegetation was really green at this point. Like, yeah. really green. A it, it, little bit of thorns here and there, but it just turned into more like vines and uh, just soft, softer, more forgiving uh, softer, brush. Softer, longer grass. Except there was a part it wasn't unforgiving. I hit some kind of poison ivy or po I hit some kind of poison something because I brushed up against it and I instantly felt a pain on my arm on my left arm and I saw hives uh, start building up and I, I knew it I was like dang it it was like why the left elbow the last time it was a bee that stung me on the left elbow this time it was some plant that got me he's got that camping aids on the left elbow and he's got that rattlesnake rattle I got that <laughs> <laughs> point too we kind of we drink quite a bit of water huh yeah because it's pretty it was just uphill yep and then about that's about when we got to the narrows too yeah right when we were drinking a bunch of water <laughs> yeah so once we got to the narrows that was actually really we we stayed there for like an hour and a half yeah there was like um what rock wall you could climb up it was like a natural rock climbing wall so you could practice rock climbing like two feet off the ground safely you know so that was pretty cool and then we packed our stuff back up and we needed to make it to base camp and we knew we wanted to make it to this certain part of the area because then that would put us pretty much right below the ridge to get up to the Oregon Peak. And uh, it's a primitive site so we just basically scraped away a little bit of the area to set our tents and there was a fire pit already there so we just rebuilt it and uh, got a fire going and it was nice. Had fun. Yeah. How y'all doing? This is Obscure Terrain. We made it to our base camp. If you look around, there's nothing set up. It's because we just made it to our base camp. Abby set up. Hello, everybody. This is Wabby Powered. We just made it to our base camp. <laughs> there's nothing set up yet because we just got here. All right, so it's the second morning, and uh, we just finished packing camp. All we gotta do is throw the ba bags on our back and head to the the peak, Oregon Peak. It's pretty exciting. Our hydration levels. How is everyone's hydration levels? Top notch. Top notch too. <laughs> Top notch. Drank a Pedialyte before I went to sleep. Um, we we did the same. Got yeah. three bottles of water and a. Uh, a liter of water that I like took a swig of yesterday and then I put in my camelback so hopefully that's enough water mm -hmm. the trail ends and then there's basically remnants of a trail that people use to get up to the Oregon Peak but we're excited uh, it looks like it's gonna be another hot day 
It's pretty crazy, the forest. We're or gonna drop our packs off. In a, in a top secret location, so nobody else can find them. Yeah, at the end of the trail. <laughs> Bro, you just told everyone where we're putting our stuff. Uh, <laughs> longitude is 480, latitude is 480. <laughs> and our bearings, you guessed it, 480. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll see you guys at the top of the peak. And uh, let's do this. Woo! Obscure terrain. <laughs> um, and it took us about, like, what, 25 to 30 minutes to walk the rest of the trail from where we are at. Mm -hmm. And then that's when we switched over into camelbacks and lighter packs because we are not going to carry our our big old pack all the way up to the peak yeah there's no point so we found an area to stash them packed uh we left water just in case back at our packs and then we took some water and we knew we had to ration at this point because now we're about to make a big uh climb up to the peak and the trail ends it's pretty much you're on your own we are on plus you could be stuck up there or something could happen so we just need to have water in reserve for just in case exactly exactly so uh, it was pretty cool up there. It wasn't really that hot, luckily. And uh, we got everything together. We had a little bit of snacks, and uh, the trail was at, at, at its end. So then we just started climbing up the ridge. steep so we were actually kind of climbing yeah and like on all fours you had to be careful because I don't know how many times we were we were going up and all of a sudden we just like grab a cactus because yep. it'd just be growing right out of the rock that on top of the rock that you're grabbing I poked for. this thumb like that it was not fun yeah but then finally we got to the to as high as we could get going through that ridge which was about 8,422 um, feet Yep, that's where we had to stop. And if you and as we kept looking forward, all we would see is sheer face, so it was not doable. Yeah, not with the gear we had, not not as dehydrated that we were starting to yeah. get. I mean, it was just it's dangerous. It was dangerous all the way around and I mean, we, we don't We could have climbed up another way, but we just didn't have the water to do it or the time. So, cuz all in all, we were just under 500 feet of the peak. And uh, mission fail. Yep. We didn't make it to the peak. We pretty much honest. failed like losers. Yep. But we got further than you. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna consider this a mission fail because we said we were gonna go to the peak, but we still had fun. Yeah. We're, I we're, mean, we're we're within a thousand feet of the peak. And we're super close. Like a eight foot, ten foot rock slide, like a, a just a rock face that you had to climb down. Yeah. I'm behind Abby and I'm kind of sitting back. I unfortunately wasn't recording because I did not think to hit record. And besides, I think it, my camera was mounted on the chest. I probably would have missed it all because all I really saw from my own eyes was his head. This is what happened. As, as I was climbing down, the dirt was loose and my foot slipped. And as I slid down, I just reached out quickly to grab onto this boulder you know you don't think a boulder is gonna break because it's just so huge and I grab and the boulder breaks and as soon as it breaks 
like I, it was just instinct but I rolled up kind of out of the way or jumped a little bit out of the way and the still some of the boulder caught me and I was stuck that thing was huge it, the whole thing was probably the size the size, size of my body if I balled up and uh, it broke off in two and the big piece luckily went off to the, the drop off and uh, the other piece which is the size of my torso went with Wesley but you could see him he looked like he jumped off to the side I did. so I I, I, <laughs> I ran up and I was kind of freaked out I was like oh my god what happened and I, I ran up to the edge of the to look down and I, I saw him he was moving and I was like okay he's moving and then I panicked because he, he was struggling to get out from under the rock it pinned both his legs down and he was actually trying to peel himself out from under it I thought he broke his legs or one leg or it's something I was like damn we're at the top this is gonna suck um, I tried to pull my legs out immediately and they were stuck I had to like lift the boulder up with my hands and then you pull my legs out but he has tough legs I guess it's all them shin kicks and Muay Thai dog this legs not bad this legs the one that got crushed more really yeah, yeah. I guess the pants and stuff no it's on this one it landed on my shin which is oh. my, the strong side of my leg this side was the cap. So after he, he talked to us and told us that he's okay, let's just keep moving. Because we, we hounded him for a bit. And if he needed to make a splint or something, but... Nah, it's always best to just keep moving forward. Yeah, he, he didn't... We, we recognized there was no broken bones or any major broken bones. So we started... <laughs> we started descending. And then we started, we started descending a little too fast. And uh, I lost my footing. So we got up and we started going down. And uh, it took a while, but we made it. I'm sure he was in pain going down. It, yeah, it hurt going down, not gonna lie. But it, it was also very uncomfortable to be that dehydrated. So I was definitely, the dehydration overro overrode the pain by a large margin. Getting down the ridge was only a quarter of the way we had to go. So after that, we, uh, we just started beelining it. We came out from the tree area, the overgrowth area, and we went more into the desert. It started getting really rough. It yeah. started getting very hot. Abby's little thermometer said it was like 100 degrees. Yeah, 100 plus. I forgot what she said. I couldn't get it. Was, it was 100 something. Yeah, it was because she said it was 100 and something, and we just, we just kept walking. We weren't talking very much either. Yeah. About a quarter of a mile left. Yeah. And we were completely out of water. And we came up over the, into the parking lot, but... There was water in the spigot, and I freaking ran to that. I saw it, and as soon as I saw it, it turned on, I was like, we're saved! This is obscure terrain. We just got done with our second adventure. That's pretty rough. Yeah, we're uh, we actually just got back off the trail. We're waiting for our pickup, 
and uh, we decided to shoot this. The exit interview. Yep. So, so Abby, how do you feel? I feel pretty proud of myself. I mean, it was a tough hike. Yeah. I bitched a little bit. Did you? I never Internally. noticed. Internally. Oh. <laughs> Internally, I was whining a lot. <laughs> Well, you but never I'm pretty proud of myself. It. <laughs> we would have never guessed that she was whining internally. Trust yeah. me. No. Uh, it was it was rough. The first day was uh, more physically exerting for sure. Yeah, because we climbed, we climbed uphill. quite a bit uphill. And our packs were at least 45 pounds. Yep. They got lighter as we went along. Uh huh. Because well, we, we had to carry all our own water pretty much. Which leads us to another point. You see how fucking out of it we look? We're wet because there's actually a spigot here. We just drenched ourselves. Yeah, because we ran out of water probably. There's no water up there at all. Uh -uh. Not even a little stream, a little waterfall. Puddle, nothing. It's nothing. completely dry. Uh, we no climbed water. a total of 3,644 feet. We are 500 feet below the peak. Um, well, let's start with the first day, actually. We uh, we set up camp. It was a nice, actually, nice area. It was beautiful. Very relaxing. Very relaxing. I slept a lot. Me too. And then uh, yeah. we woke up, made breakfast, and we knew we had to carry our packs, to, uh, stash them, and then hike up the mountain. So what we did was we um, basically hiked all the way to the end of the trail, dropped our gear, and from there we continued by Camelback to the top. Yep, and we're right there. Right about that point, we were really rationing water. Yeah, because well, you never know. Like, what if someone got injured up there, like, and we got stuck up there? We were kind of. It was kind of, yeah. It was nerve wracking, which brings us to the point of him saying, "Never know." Well, this guy, it was he was in front, Abby was next, and I was behind everybody, and we were going back downhill, and it it was steep. And uh, you'll see some of the footage. Well, you've probably already seen the footage, actually. <laughs> well, he grabbed a rock. We didn't get this on camera, but he grabbed a rock. It was more like a boulder. Yeah. He was, well, he was grabbing a gigantic piece of boulder that, that was attached to another boulder. It looked like one big boulder. Big, big. And you had to go down about, what, eight feet? Yeah. Well, this gigantic piece just broke off. And then Wesley well, swung under it. I was like this. I wasn't holding it too much, but I slid, and in the process of sliding, um, I just like swung out almost like when someone like climbs up a semi truck and they swing out towards the the door. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And I swung out under under it, and with all my weight, it just broke, and it was it was a big chunk. Yeah, it it was kind of scary because I just see a piece of rock come off, and then he go down down out of my vision and then i seen him i don't know what he did but he was able to leap away from it so a big chunk of the rock the biggest piece missed him completely that one went and that continued down the mountain but there's this other good sized rock about as big as my torso and probably like this wide that rolled right on top of him and just landed on his both, legs both my legs i couldn't like i couldn't get my legs out at first i had to actually do some work like uh, my legs were pinned mm-hmm and my spear was pinned too, like I like my spear was under that rock and I was just pulling, pulling and I couldn't get it out, but then finally I got it out. But that was painful. It still hurts walking down the mountain hurt, but I try not to complain. It doesn't serve you to bitch about an injury. Well, <laughs> episode two. He, he rolled his land kayak, as I should say. Yep. <laughs> My land kayak is great. I it wonder what take, he's going to do on episode three. He can take rocks and everything. Oh, we also uh, <laughs> ran into a rattlesnake. Well, he, he did, and Abby was behind him, but there he was going to make a carn. I don't know if you know what a carn is, but basically it's a landmark for a trail, and it's rocks stacked up. So he was going to make one because there wasn't very many, and it was so thick, like with brush. And uh, he started pulling rocks, and then he just heard a rattle, and... They both stepped away and said, "Yep, that's a rattlesnake." Nope. <laughs> so we uh, away from here. <laughs> yep. He actually built the carn before it rattled. Yeah. So I hope nobody tries to rebuild or build a carn there again. <laughs> <laughs> if you're ever going up Oregon Peak Trail and you see a big messy pile of rocks, <laughs> that's where the rattlesnake lives. So my feet hurt. His legs hurt. 
My feet also hurt. Though. Abby's sunburns hurt. Yeah, got sunburned. I'm sure her feet hurt too. We re- we yeah. encountered one person towards the very beginning of the trail. Mm-hmm. Um, on our way back down, they took a interest in my big old black spear. Boop, boop. <laughs> so Abby, would you do this again? Yes, just not around this time. Where it's a hundred degrees. <laughs> but yes, I would do it some other time. Just day. a different time of year. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe like in the spring or in the Let's fall. Let's take her dead of the winter. <laughs> dead of winter. Winter's Even in coming. the winter time, but I don't know about the summer hiking thing. It's pretty rough. Yeah. Well, guys, we are scared to rain, and we are Abby. Abby. Abby we powered. are Abby powered. <laughs> <laughs> and we combine both YouTube channels to hopefully get uh, get some more uh, followers. So go like, subscribe, crossover episode. Yep, we'll have information down below. And uh, check out this video. And hit the like button. <laughs> I don't know if video is going to be there, but I'm going to put a video there. And the subscribe button. <laughs> and the subscribe, because it helps us continue these trips. It helps and us beat ourselves subscribe up. Subscribe below. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Webby Power. <laughs>